Hey guys, welcome back to Atomic Underground. My name is Nick. In this episode, we're looking at the launch control desk that we picked up from a private collector up in Kansas. From the information I was able to gather on this desk, it was never in an actual silo, but it was the training desk for McConnell Air Force Base in Wichita. So what was the other light you can get to light up? That was... Uh, one of these guys down at the bottom. I don't know which one. Okay. Then, but you can, oh, maybe not. that one changes colors, All right. which is weird. So we got this one here. But that's getting its power through there. Which is, should be fine. Okay. Should be famous last words. Mm -hmm. The last thing I want to do is short something that's important. So, all I did was this. So there's my launch okay. enable light. Yeah. So now I can steal the power from there and go to batteries activated, APS power, Salasoft, guidance go, fire engine, lift off. Okay. So it is that pole on so every one of them. Perfect. It's safe. I didn't hear the hum from the transformer. I was just guessing there. There we go. I have a red light on. All right. So let's see what happens here. It should have gone off. It did. And keep your setting. Come on, come back, come back. And it works. Okay, and here we go. Keep turning. Oops. There it goes. Three seconds. It's on. And that will stay. And it will never come back. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, Turn the power back off the console. Yeah, if this works, it can be a minor miracle. I'm just going to quit and go on. <laughs> quit while you're ahead. <laughs> All right, so here's one. Keep this. Two. Four. So this thing, one, if there's power to the... Arduino, it will continue and doing its thing. Yeah. It, it thinks it's still launching, so <laughs> that's it, why we take it, the power it, off. Yeah, this is why you don't put power to missiles when they're not supposed to launch. They yeah. they think they want to launch. Okay, relay five is Silo Soft, which should be my next one. It is. This looks like a higher number. I see six, seven, five, five. Okay. That's the end of the world. And then we go. <laughs> That's the end of the world. Yeah. Okay, so I just used up number five. Six is guidance go. Oh, wait. Yes. Six is guidance go. Seven is fire engine, fire everywhere. Fire, fire everywhere. Is that the klaxon thing? Uh, well, seven does not do the klaxon, okay. but it, it, it lights the whole facility okay. on fire. So okay. I'll have to create a jumper to all those. Yeah. Okay, and then should be eight is liftoff. So which ones do we want to jump or we can do that now too? We can, yeah. Um, okay. Or you just want to see it go as is. Well, they won't get to see it, but I think we might want to see it. All right. Pretend they're not going to see it till it's done. So we should have... Okay. Oops. So we have there's... decided that it is time to blow up target two today. Let me reset that. Occasionally there'll be static or something that causes this thing to go when you don't turn the key. It just happens. And there's a reset button. On our dream, okay. it's right there. All right, fire one, two, two three, four. Okay. A little 
Already light went off. That's a little long delay. Should have been go. Yeah, should have got a launch activate. Reset it. Okay. Let's blow up target one this time. <laughs> okay, I guess we're ready. Yeah, let me reset that. All right, let's see what happens. Launch, launch, launch. So you hold until it enables. Let go. Battery's activated. Then we go out to lunch. Go out to lunch for 28 seconds. That is an awful long time, isn't it? Just like, hmm, look at the doodly dee. <laughs> they wouldn't have the blast doors closed. You'd go up, take a last look. <laughs> <laughs> you could pretty much make it out of launch control center the yeah, amount of time this sucker takes. I mean, 58 seconds is impressive. It's just a. And when you. When you pause and consider what this thing will do after it's committed, I need to pause that longer or so. Hang on. Silo soft and guidance. So yeah, we want at least a second between those just for effect. But then you'll, is it a, is it a wait five seconds then, 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 or is it from the program start? Um, it's from the last action, so the light goes on, I wait five seconds. Okay, so we need to add a second here and then subtract a second on the fire engine. I don't know, that looks pretty fun, doesn't it? It does look fun. That's what happens when they hit us. <laughs> the silo goes insane. So kind of interesting story. I'm an Atlas F researcher. And I've talked to a couple of the uh, deputy commanders, commanders of silos where the missiles have blown up in the silo. And that's kind of what happened. The random, because just the out. sensors are still out there. And they're going, I don't know what's happening. And they get high voltage, low voltage, high voltage. And they said, literally, the council lit up like that. Just random lights all over. Actually, what we should do is have that be the reset. We could do it that. is a reset button. But yeah, no, it's, I mean, uh, nobody was inside of the Damascus one when it went off, but they said the commander's coffee cup was still sitting on the desk. Yeah. So it's so, not, it's not 58 seconds from key turn to lift off. It's from launch enable to lift off. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, that so you can you can turn that and release it. Yeah, I know. I just all right. So battery's activated. So I put launch enable at three seconds. Yeah, there's a there's a three second delay by the time you turn the key, I believe. But that's part of the launch timer. I guess yeah. So that's it's fifty eight seconds from launch enable to lift off. So that should work. APS power should have been at 30, that's about right. So that's right. Guidance go. Had some alarm bells going. The next one we're going to have is a fire at 50, 55 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We got a big ass fire. And missile away. Perfect. Sure. That's Good. spot on. Good. So I think the I wanted to that drives me nuts. Yeah. Go ahead and turn the key. I want to see how long the uh, external turns on. Two, three, four, five. And then uh, which one is it when the bells come on? The bells are at Silo Soft, which is going to be at 39 seconds, 36 seconds from. Okay. So that should be relay 10. And it should only fire for three seconds. That's 
that's what I was concerned with. I didn't see the light light up. Okay, should be fired right now. Yeah, it's about three okay. seconds, okay. And the last one is the klaxon that goes off. Yeah, klaxon's relay 11. And I had that go for two seconds because if we do that one right, it is obnoxious as hell. Ooh, Perfect. Here we go. That one should vibrate the whole room when it goes off. <laughs> I think I'll turn it down a little bit. All right, so can we add a minute after liftoff? So after we fire, relay, after, yeah. After liftoff, we had a minute where it does nothing. It just stays lit up before it goes insane. So you want all the lights on? Just yeah, make it look like it just it just left the silo. We still got fires. So that was always the uh, that's the conundrum with the Atlas. The these become um, irrelevant once it's launched, and its status is unknown. Right, so a lot of those lights might go out or flash or... Uh, I guess we don't know, huh? We don't know. No one did Only if they were out of Vandenberg or the Cape, when they launched one, would they ever see that. Right. And I don't, I've never seen Somebody's any footage. Given the information. Yeah, all, the only footage we have is of it leaving the tube. All right. Yeah. You're not bleeding, you're not working, right? That's right. You broke it! <laughs> Your fault. <laughs> 